In this video, we will show you how to file an exempt bus operator diesel fuel tax return. We protect all the confidential information you provide to us. First, go to the website cdtfa.ca.gov and at the top, click on Login. That will take you to the Online Services Login page. You must log in with a username and password. For assistance with creating a username and password, please watch our tutorials online. On the CDTFA Online Services Login page, we will enter our username and password, then click Login. On the Online Services Profile page under the Accounts tab, we will click on the Diesel Exempt Bus Operator hyperlink. This will take us to the Diesel Exempt Bus Operator account page. Under the Periods tab, click on the return period for which you would like to file. In our example, we will file for the third quarter 2019 period which is displayed by its return end date of September 30, 2019. Click the File Return hyperlink next to the period for which you are filing. This brings us to the Report of X-Tax Diesel Fuel Transactions page. Before completing this page, you will need to complete a Receipt Schedule 2A for each product code you purchased. At least one Receipt Schedule 2A needs to be included with every exempt bus operator diesel fuel tax return. Before we complete this page, let's look at the Receipt Schedule 2A. You can download a fillable Receipt Schedule 2A from the Tax Guide for Motor Fuel Taxes webpage on the CDTFA website. Select the Getting Started tab, then Diesel Fuel Exempt Bus Operator. Click the hyperlink CDTFA-501-DB2A Receipt Schedule to download a fillable blank schedule. On the Receipt Schedule 2A, you will need to populate the schedule heading boxes with your company name, account number, product code, and month and year. You can find the product code at our website. You will need to start a new page anytime the product code changes. You will also need to complete columns 5 through 8 and 11 and total the column 11 for each page. In this example, our company name is School of Hard Rock. The account number is 264-788992. The product code is 154 which represents diesel fuel number four, undyed, and the month and year of September 2019. We acquired the product from seller Buses R Us with FEIN 12345678 and a total of 245,149 gallons. After completing all pages of the receipt schedule 2A, Save the files on your computer, as you will need to attach the files to the return later on in the filing process. Once you have completed the Receipt Schedule 2A, return to the Report of X-Tax Diesel Fuel Transactions page. Using your Receipt Schedule 2A, report your total gallons for dyed and undyed diesel fuel purchased X-Tax and used off-highway to the nearest gallon. In this example, we have 245,149 total gallons of undyed diesel fuel purchased X tax, which was recorded on our receipt schedule 2A. After entering our values, we will click Next. This brings us to the exempt bus operator return page. Please note, tax paid fuel cannot be reported on this return. Report the total gallons of both dyed and undyed X-Tax diesel fuel used in exempt and non-exempt bus operations during this period, if any, to the nearest gallon. In this example, we have 146,604 total gallons of X-Tax diesel fuel used in exempt bus operations and 98,545 gallons of X-Tax diesel used in non-exempt bus operations. After entering our values, we will click Next. This brings us to the Attach Receipt Schedule 2A page. Click the Add button to upload your schedule that you previously prepared. A box will appear for you to attach the file. Under Type, click the drop-down arrow and choose the appropriate type. 
You can choose from two types, Receipt Schedule 2A and Supplemental Document. Please note, you can only add the Receipt Schedule 2A type once. You can add multiple Supplemental Document types for additional schedules for different product codes. In this example, we will select Receipt Schedule 2A. Enter a description. You can enter any description you like. We do not have any file naming conventions. In this example, we entered the description of September 2019. Then, click Choose File to upload your schedule. Next, click the Save button. The attachment will now appear under the Attachments header. If there is an error, you can click the Remove hyperlink and re-add the new file if needed. Otherwise, click the Next button. On the summary page, the system will display the total amount due. Any rates reflected in this example are for illustration purposes only. Please visit our website for current rates at cdtfa.ca.gov. Please review and make sure everything is correct. Then click on Next. Enter your required information and click Submit. When you click Submit, a window will appear to confirm your intent to file electronically and that your return is true, correct, and complete. Please read the information carefully. Enter your password and click OK to submit. This will serve as your authorization and confirmation. You will not receive a confirmation email. This confirmation page represents a return filing only. Please take note of your confirmation number and the total amount due. We recommend that you print this page for future reference. To make an electronic payment, click on the Make a Payment button. To print your submitted return, click on the Print Return button. If you have questions, please call our Customer Service Center at 1-800-400-7115, California Relay Service at 711.